Um, I would like to ask Bobby Amin to just quickly say a few words because Bobby is one of the founder members of this organization. It was his concept, his idea that brought everybody together. So Bobby, would you like to say a few words, please? Thank you. Also, he's a candidate at the moment. He's running for councillorship. Thank you, Natasha. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, I was one of the founder for uh, this committee. And uh, I wanted to bring the community together, Pakistan and India. As you can see from the name, Pakistan and India, we've got a balanced committee of Pakistanis and Indians together. My main aim was to share peace and harmony together, not only show this country, but also our thoughts are back in our country, Pakistan and India. Uh, we like to build the bridges between the two communities by promoting cultural events because my background actually comes in uh, promoting events and this was a good platform to uh, do events throughout the years, uh, Eid and Diwali as you mentioned we've done before and uh, future events coming throughout this year and inshallah next year as well. Uh, one thing I would like to say, going back into the history, Muhammad Jinnah and Nehru were very close friends. If you go back for a minute in history and from Tariq, they were very close friends. If you think from that time, they had a good time together, they shared their uh, uh, emotions, feelings together, and it was the political agendas that put them apart. So my request to everybody is, by learning from those two people, because of them, we are here, we got our country. And those are the very strong message I like to share throughout the world. If you just think for those two minutes, our thoughts should be like our leaders. They never wanted to be us apart until the political parties got involved. I'm sorry to say that, but this is my feeling. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Um, like Bobby said, we are a totally non-political organization. We are only working for the social integration of the people. We do not believe that religion should bind us from being together. And we do not believe that boundaries of any sort should bind us from being together, nor should any politics. Politics is for those who want to do politics. We just want to be socially together and happy, sharing the cultures and the traditions which our ancestors left for us. Um, I would like to now ask uh, Mr. Remy Martin, Remy Martin, um, to Remy please, Remy, yeah, Remy Martin is a drink, sorry. I wonder how I know that. <laughs> um, Remy Martin, to please say a few words. Um, incidentally, he's also a counselor uh, with the Lib Dems. And uh, he's a lovely, lovely person to be with. The more I know him, the fonder I grow of him. Please, Rabbi, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Natasha. Flattery will get you everywhere. No I know. <laughs> Thank you. I, I think not very much to add to what has been said. But I think I, I just want to reflect on why, when I was first approached by Rajan about this organization, I was actually moved to say yes very readily. I come from Goa, and Goa, as people who know the country will know, is a very cosmopolitan, very mixed community. And one of the things we do very well in Goa is actually mix. We don't actually think about our backgrounds, we are Goans. And I think what we're trying to do here with this organization is remind ourselves we are first of all children of the Indian subcontinent. That is what keeps us together, that's what unites us. And I think as Rajan said, there's more that unites us than divides us. Sadly, we have over time learned to live within our own little silos. Indians on this side, Pakistan is on that side. That's how we've tended to live. And this country hasn't actually helped that situation, made it worse. It actually has caused us to live in silos. And I think what we are trying to do with this organization and with your involvement and help, is to get together and actually remind ourselves that, hey, we are one. 
We are not two different people. Our focus is primarily, initially, to bring people together. And who knows, once we're together, joined as a big, united force, children of the Indian subcontinent, we can then focus on things we can do beyond to help our brethren, both in this country and abroad. So, delighted to be part of this, delighted to try and move this agenda forward. But I end with an appeal. Please, please, we can't do this without you promoting the cause. Thank you. Thank you, Ravi. That was very sweet and very, very, very uh, much what we feel. Thank you very much indeed. Um, could I please ask uh, Mr. Christian Raleigh, uh, who is um, the treasurer, the secretary, the guy who deals with the money for our forum. Um, also, he is a journalist. Uh, he has his own publication. And I would like to ask him to say a few words, being on the executive committee. Thank you. Thank you, Natasha. Uh, I think uh, you all should know that <coughs> I've been involved with various uh, voluntary organizations. And the moment these voluntary organizations have a few thousand pounds, they start fighting with each other. And that's the pain of all the voluntary societies. So what we thought in the beginning, <coughs> that we should make such a structure of our organization that we are above board in these matters because financial matters are always create some conflict. So at that time, we thought that should we a registered charity or should we be a, just a non-profitable organization? So we said we will remain a non-profitable organization plus we will be a limited company so that all our accounts are audited every year. All the money which is given, unlike members of parliament, uh, there is there's a receipt for that and all those receipts have to be kept till the end of the year so that the auditors, they audit our accounts. So I took the honors on myself to become the company secretary and also the finance secretary of the organization. And now there will not be any problem as far as financial matters are concerned. So you can give as much donations as you like and we are going to spend in the best possible way for the benefit of our aims and objectives. That's right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Krishna. Um, 